In our previous segment, we talked about how we as a society are very deficient in trace minerals. And in this segment, we're going to talk about how to fill that deficiency. And uh, Dr. Starkey, we have a really fun demonstration. What's going on here? Sure. You know, what we're best known for in the industry, Scott, literally is our light demonstration. That's what they know trace minerals by, because once you see the light, that's all they want to talk about is the light bulb. Right. Now, what I'd like to do is kind of explain the light demonstration. What we have here, Scott, is a positive negative or positive negative probe open circuit. Right. And what I'd like to do is we're going to go ahead and just take an, a nickel, okay. an element, and we're going to go ahead and close that circuit, and we get a light. Oh, okay. Okay. So the so, electricity is flowing through the nickel, and, and we're closing that closing circuit. circuit. Absolutely. Okay. So. To me, the most important thing to understand here from this demonstration is that this is what's keeping us alive. If you think about it, by definition of death, it's not when the heart stops beating, because right. there's our heartbeat, right? Oh, okay, right. It's when that electrical current in the brain stops that they pronounce as dead. So we're nothing but a very sophisticated machine ran off electrical you know, current. Yeah, okay. And that's what we're trying to you know, show with this demonstration is what does our food offer? Okay. Okay, let's go ahead, Scott, if you would, put those positive and negative probes into that potato. Oh, okay. And we oh. get to let, yeah. Right. It's okay. alive. Right. And think about that. It's a live food. Most of the foods that we're eating today, Scott, literally, we either cook it, nuke it, eat it out of can. We've, we've discussed that. Yeah, right. We're eating very little of this raw food. Yeah, true. Let's go ahead and put it in the, pota or the, the tomato. tomato. Okay. Oh, good. So, we've got minerals there. And the apple. And the apple. Let's go ahead and put and in the, the banana. Banana. Now, let's go back to the apple. Did you okay. see that huge drop? Yeah, it was less than the others, quite a bit. Okay. <laughs> what I love to really think about this, the apple a day that kept the doctor away, it right. wasn't what the apple tastes like. It was, it's what the apple offered. Therefore, we have to eat that apple in order to get what the apple offered, right? Yeah. But right. if the apple doesn't offer what it once did, because why? We discussed that soil deficiency. If it's oh, not okay. in the soil, how can it be in the apple? And if it's not in the apple, how is it going to keep the doctor away from us? So yeah, let's sense. take it to the next step. Let's go ahead and focus on alfalfa. Okay. Alfalfa... And why alfalfa? Because that's a great question. Alfalfa is, is known as the grandmaster of all herbs. Okay. Land grown. Land grown. Right. Because of the fact that its root system has been known to grow anywhere from 25 to 75 feet into the earth's surface. Wow. Now, at that same time, let's really, let's think about this. If the farmers are utilizing the top two feet of the, of the American soil, and we have a plant that reaches 25 to 75 feet, it's utilizing those minerals at that lower, you know, that much deeper level, and therefore, that plant that's providing that mineral force, because why? It's prepared it for us. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and see if we get a, I'm going to go ahead and put, this is distilled water, okay? okay? <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, let's go ahead and stir this up, Scott. Okay. And what do we get? Oh. Same we, response. Same response as our, as our fruits, fruits and vegetables, right? right? So it's, it's planned. It's like a plant or a, an herb or whatever, right? Same type of thing. And in, in this case, when you think about it, that's how Mother Nature intended to feed our bodies those trace minerals. Oh, it's through okay. our food. Right. Okay? So if we, but because of soil deficiency, we're not getting as much of the minerals, correct? And therefore, I believe it's like playing Russian roulette with our health. When we eat those foods, we're basically putting our health on the line because we have no idea where those foods are coming from oh, in the right. fact where they're being grown. Yeah, okay? right. So let's take it to the next step. Let's, t let's really focus in on trace mineral supplements because okay. that's what we're discussing here is yeah. how do we fulfill that deficiency. The first thing I want to sh this product is known as a colloidal mineral. Okay. A colloid, by definition, is a large aggregate clump of mineral in suspension. Now, where do they get it? I mean, that's an important piece of that information yeah. because, again, we're, we're thinking about the soil here, right? Right. Well, so they mine it. Right. They grind it. Okay. They leach it, and then they have to suspend it. That's so they... So there's minerals in there and it's like floating or something? Is Absolutely. That That's the suspension. So in other okay. words, when we put, if you would for me, 
Let's go ahead and put in five drops. Okay, five drops of five the drops. colloidal minerals. Two, three, four, five. Okay. And what type of response we get? Not now, fun. now let's think about that. We spend our hard-earned money on a product that we believe we're getting benefit getting because the minerals, minerals from, and it's right? not that the minerals aren't there that. It's literally the body has to go through a digestive process in order to break down those minerals, and therefore we have to depend on our digestive system to do that for us. Now, if you think about our society today, with the type of uh, digestive disorders that we have, that's going to be very difficult. Well, like IBS or irritable bowel, right? Something like that. All form, of course, constipation. Yeah. Okay. So the minerals that are in the colloidal or the colloidal minerals aren't the same as what is in like a fruit or vegetable, obviously, right? Because we're not getting a response here. Well, and again, they didn't, in this case, that plant right. or that tree or didn't prepare that for it. Yeah. Because it was, it, was, it, was, it was basically taken from a clay deposit. Okay. Now, right. let's go ahead and think, let's take the, the trace minerals. Okay, so this, and this is The concentrate, right? trace mineral drops. These are ionic, and by okay. definition, the ion is a, a, a a group of atoms that carry a positive or a negative charge. Okay. So they disassociate extremely well in solution. Mm. Why is that important? Because so we, that we dissolve or whatever. Is we that just what talked about suspension <clears throat> here. Now we're talking about being able, oh, well, in this case. So it becomes part of the solution or it becomes part of the water? It doesn't just, it's not just floating, right? Well, is in this case, mean? it, well, the important aspect of this is that it carries that charge. Oh, right. Okay. okay. So nice. if you oh, would right. for, okay. for me, go ahead and put in one drop. Okay. And how many trace minerals are in this product? That's a great question. 72. Oh, wow. 72 so trace minerals. Lot. Okay. So one drop? One drop. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, we, going back to our, we, we saw how f each fruit or vegetable so fluctuates. So it's the same. Like, so like with the tomato, it's the same we're getting the same type of minerals, right? So the minerals that are prepared by the f plants or whatever, or the tree, it's the same type of mineral. Right, our bodies didn't. So in other words, let's, let's really build on that. To, to me, this is just like eating a raw diet, but we have consistency over it. Yeah, now you're right. probably also thinking, well, why don't I just go ahead and take an alfalfa tablet? Well, in this case, again, the concentration, this is 78 times the concentration of ocean water. Mm. So in other words, it takes very little to give us what would have to be taken. So in other words, you would have to, con you would have to consume a truckload <laughs> yeah. of alfalfa. Well, I was gonna say, the, the ionic minerals, I mean, that's so much brighter, brighter. Than, than even like the apple, for example. Right, it's so like in other words, there. let's go back to that concept then. The apple a day that kept the doctor away, that's our solution. Yeah, it's so putting that foundation back in at a cons you know, at our consistency. So in other words, we don't have to ask, we don't have to ask the question, where's it coming from? Yeah, right. Okay, well thanks Dr. Starkey. Nick Scott.